Hi, this is Ashish. I am recording a quick video log of a track using the online album for my Nag Tippa track that I did uh, on 31st December 2014 at the New Year's Eve. So we will quickly go through the photographs, the thumbnails of the photographs rather and uh, I will fill you in on what to expect where on this track. So the first photograph here is of the village marketplace. This is the road that divides the Pandwari village on one side and the Bhandasari village on the other side. The jeeps, uh, that the, any, any vehicle that you take from uh, um, Dehradun, it drops you, takes you till this point. As you can see, the second image, there are nice shops around. You get all the basic amenities. You don't really need to carry any packaged food you will get everything there at uh, almost the MRP. So the third pic you can see my guide walking ahead of me, Bachchan Lal. Uh, this is a trail uh, that goes from behind the Bandasari village upwards. Half an hour into the trail, one can see the Panthwari village and the fields outside the village from a bit above. and. Uh, I think around 45-50 minutes from uh, the village is the first watering hole. So to say the watering hole, this is the destination. A uh, neat tank, water tank that is constructed. It's dirty, but if you have a filtering mechanism like a bottle or aquaguard bottle or a live straw filter, you can use this water. Local people drink this water all the time. There is running water also. So you can see below the a nice drivable, motorable, uh, unmetalled road goes across this first one third route of the trail and the hiking trail crisscrosses this road. You can see the valley in the direction of Masuri, somewhere there. This is another tank that was dry. But uh, I am told that during monsoon season, this has running water. You can actually see the pipe coming in from the right edge of the photograph. And in this photograph here, you can see small, uh, 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 there is a very small plateau which has uh, some tent pitched on top of it. I don't know who were staying there, but some uh, people were putting up in two tents there. The Jaunpur range where Nagtabha is located, part of, uh, a good part of this range is the leeward side so it doesn't get any rainfall. It's it's pretty dry. Uh, as you can see the trail is a bit shaded so this is a respite from summer heat if you are trekking in the summers. And uh, on my first day, this was somewhere on the trail when the sun went down. Almost at, after dark I reached uh, uh, the Nag temp Nagdevta temple and the camping ground outside this but the trail is pretty comfortable you can easily do it even after sunset uh, not all of it but some part of it so you can see on 31st December there is the snow outside the temple it had snowed a couple of days uh, before the new years there is a small watering hole in front of the temple uh, it appeared dirty but we felt water from it, it, it uh, we, we drank water from this place uh, the water was not so dirty. Looking at it, one may find it to be dirty. And this thing. There is a small, nice, uncatered to um, rest house. Uh, nice, not so nice, dirty, but I say nice because it is a nice shelter. Uh, I pitched the tent inside the room and there is a nice chimney in the corner. In the next photograph, you can see me sitting with the head headlamp on. The corner of my tent is also visible. Uh, we got some lot of dry firewood left by shepherds and uh, there is a nice chimney in the corner. We roasted some potatoes. We borrowed from the uh, local people on the trail. Next morning this is the temple shot. Uh, you can see some ice in this photograph indicating that the night temperature was sub-zero for some time. There is a small uh, very fine thin layer of uh, 4 5 mm thick layer of uh, ice on top of the watering hole. That's my guide, Bachchan Lal filling a water from uh, a small hole he broke into the ice. And we started from this camping ground to the Nagtabha summit which is also called Jhandi. 
so you can see this rest house and and the temple is somewhere behind this rock uh, beyond this part there was a snow a little bit of ankle deep snow all through and sometimes later on to the trail it at places was one feet deep so that would be me uh, walking in the snow all the shaded part of the trail beneath the trees had snow which did not melt away and one hour into the trail you get to see the snow covered peaks of Himachal from this trail you get a very good view of these when you reach the top the summit and that's the customary name digging in the snow what people do on the beach uh, you can see a small in the middle of this uh, image you can see a small flag white colored flag at the top which is called jandi it's visible this is almost one hour or maybe 80 minutes into the trail from uh, the forest rest house and uh, yep here are the snow covered peaks of himachal the reason i trek one of the reasons i tre love to trek is the views that you get humbling mind boggling beautiful natural views that you get from these places shot a couple of uh, uh, pictures contrasting and this one contrasts actually uttarakhand uh, hills and the jodhpur range and the uh, swargrohini and bandar kuch peaks you see there the jhandi and uh, and then i started back this i met with a nice group of folks who were trekking up while i was going coming down the next day so i spent the 31st night with them mighty fun gang it was and i pitched next to them this is one uh, starry night sky shot and uh, bachan lal as, as and his family uh, he was my host for a few hours on the new years the first meal of new years i had with them at their house in their kitchen and uh, to end it uh, with i have a couple of panoramic shots from the trail indicating the trail the views and the valleys hope you like the video log of the trek using the photographs